Hi everyone, welcome to another video from eLearning Portal. In today's video, I will show you how to stop the scroll of death in your Moodle courses. As you can see here, I have a seven week course and users will have to scroll down way to the bottom to access all the activities. So what I'm about to show you is a more structured way um, to organize your course content within your Moodle course. I'll use the tab setup and I'll show you how to do that. First, we're going to install a plugin from the Moodle's plugin directory. So let's go to Moodle.org. Scroll down way to the bottom and click on plugins. In the search box, type in multi and click search. Now scroll down and you'll see the multi-topic format. Click on the multi-topic format. Make sure that you are downloading the correct version, your Moodle version. So I'm on 3.11, so I'll download this version. It immediately starts downloading to your computer. Go to your Moodle course. Click on Site Administration. Click on Plugins. And now click on Install Plugins. Now we can drag the plugin that we've just downloaded to the upload box. And we click on Install from the zip file. Let's click on continue on this screen. And again, scroll down and click on continue here. Please make sure that everything is okay here. It says here I have to check my PHP extension, uh, both these extensions, but um, it's for, for now it's okay. So let's click on continue. You'll see here uh, your server environment meets all minimum requirements. So let's click on continue, scroll down and click on upgrade my model database now. On the screen it says success, which means that the format multi-topic was successfully installed. Let's click on continue. Now I need to make sure that the settings are correct. Usually the default is uh, correct. Okay, so let's click on save changes. Okay, so now it's uh, successfully installed and now we can go back to our course. Okay, so let's go to our course. So here you can still see that uh, I need to keep on scrolling right to the bottom. Okay, so we'll have to implement the multi-topic format. Okay, so let's click on turn editing on first and then just above turn editing on, click on the gear icon and click on edit settings. You can see now that the course format is set on topics format. By clicking the drop down list, you'll see the multi topic format that we've just installed. Let's choose that one. Again, we can specify certain settings here, but let's leave it on its default. We'll scroll down and click on Save and Display. So now you'll see there's a top banner. And then all my weeks, there's a general tab. And then all my weeks are compressed or collapsed. Okay, so let's fix this banner here at the top. Let's go to the settings again. Edit settings. Click on Course Format. And where you see banner slice, you'll see it's 0%. Okay. What this course format or multi-topic format does is it uses this icon or course image and it, pro it adds it to a banner. Okay. So you'll have to make sure that the image is the actual width and height uh, to include in that banner. Okay. So let's increase the size. Let's say we make it 50% and click on save and display. You'll see now it increases the size of the banner, but um, you can use a different banner for this. Okay, so let's move on to the tabs. Okay, so we have a general tab here 
and then we have a plus next to the general tab so let's click on the plus okay so it adds a section here I'll click on that pencil icon and this will be my basics or my model basics my model basics okay if I click on general now you'll see I have the general and I have the model basics okay then I want the model intermediate let's click on the pencil icon So I have the Moodle Basics section and then I have the Moodle Intermediate section. Okay, if I click on General now, you'll see I have two sections here. And then the third and the last one will be the more advanced. Okay, if I click on General now, you'll see I have three tabs with my General tab. Okay, so now I can start moving things around. So here you'll see week one and week two i want that underneath the model basics and then week three and four that will be model intermediate and then week five six and seven will be the advanced okay so you'll see week one here next to week one we click on edit and then move to the next page that will move week one to model basics and if you click on general now, you'll see there's no more week one because we've moved week one to Moodle basics. Okay, so let's move week two as well. We click edit and then move to next page. So now we have our Moodle basics, which includes two weeks. Okay, week one and week two. Now I want to move week three and week four to Moodle Intermediate. But now Moodle Intermediate is uh, the third tab, okay? So let's click on Moodle Intermediate. And what I do here is I click on Edit, and then I move the page to the left. Now Moodle Intermediate is next to General. So now I can click on General, and I can move week three and four. So I'll move week three, and I'll move week four, Okay, so now I have my Moodle Intermediate. I'm done with that. So I click on it. And next to the name Moodle Intermediate, click on the Edit button. And now we can move it, the page to the right. And now we have General, Moodle Basics, Moodle Intermediate with Week 3 and 4. And then Moodle Advanced. Okay, so let's move Moodle Advanced. We move it to the left and we move it to the left again. Okay. So now we have Moodle Advanced here. Click on General. And now we move a week five, six, and seven to Moodle Advanced. Okay. Click on General again. Move week six. General again. And now week seven. Okay, and now we can move Moodle Advanced again to the right and again to the right. Okay, so now we have our general tab, which is our general information for the students. Then we have our Moodle Basics, where we have week one and two. Then we have our Moodle Intermediate, where we have week three and four. And then we have our Moodle Advanced, where we have week five, six, and seven. So now it's nice and neat. No more scrolling. All you need to do is when you click on Moodle Basics, they can expand and do the activities, collapse again, and then week two again, collapse and do the activities. To expand and do the activities so now it's nice and neat we can even have uh, sub tabs within Moodle or, or within Moodle basics or within Moodle um, intermediate or within Moodle advanced and even under Moodle general we can have sub tabs by clicking on the plus so this will be the higher level 
and this will be the lower level. If I want to add sections here, I click on the plus. So here I'll call this my year planner. Okay. So I'll have a section here for year planners and then I'll have a section there for, I'll call this recorded live videos. Okay, so now I have next to my general tab, I have little sub tabs uh, where I can place the year planner and the recorded live videos. Okay, so this will be my top level and this will be my lower level. And I can even move between these two levels. Okay, so when I click on general, I can add under my general topic uh, course content. Uh, but now I have my weeks nicely structured within tabs. All right, so let's fix uh, this banner here at the top. So go to edit settings. And for now, we'll just remove uh, this icon here and we delete it. Click OK and click on save changes. And now you'll see it's nice and neat and clean. OK, I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for any new videos on my channel.